In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called adding rational expressions involving different quadratic denominators. And since we're adding fractions, we know that ultimately we will need to get a common denominator. And before doing so, we'll want to factor each of these denominators as much as possible. This right hand side is already factored as far as possible. But on the left hand side, I should try to factor that expression. And I'll start with just trial and error. Since we have a 3x squared, I'll make this a 3x and an x. And our possibilities here for negative 5 would have to be a 1 and 5 with different signs. And if I put the 1 here and the 5 here, this would give me a 5x and a 3x. And since they need to have different signs and add up to a 2x, I'll make the 5 positive for a positive 5x and the 1 negative for a negative 3x. Those would add to that positive 2x. So we have factored this left hand side and we can now look for a common denominator. The lowest common denominator between these two would have to have each one of these factors represented. So it will need a 3x plus 5 and also an x minus 1. And since the other fraction is just an x minus 1, we already have that. So this is our lowest common denominator. I would want to rewrite each one of these fractions with this as the lowest common denominator. And the first fraction is all set. It already has a 3x plus 5 and an x minus 1. But the second fraction only has an x minus 1. To get a common denominator, I would need to multiply that denominator by 3x plus 5, which means also multiplying the numerator by 3x plus 5. That would give me the necessary 3x plus 5 times x plus 1 in the denominator. And my new numerator is 1 times 3x and 1 times 5. So from here, we are all set to start adding. We have our common denominator, so we can add the numerators straight across 2 plus 3x plus 5. And then to simplify, I see that we have some like terms that we can add in the numerator. There's only the 1 3x, but the 2 plus the 5 would give me a plus 7. This is simplified as much as possible, so this would be our solution.